Welcome to The Little Beans Read Aloud. Today we will be reading the book A Clam I Am, All About the Beach, by Tish Rabe. Hello, I'm the fish. To the beach, let us go. The fish channel asked me to star in a show. It is called Fish and Friends. You can be in it too. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. Today on our show, we are off to explore where the sea meets the sand at the edge of the shore. Here's where the waves crash in bubbles of foam. You'll meet lots of creatures who call the beach home. Meet my friend Clam I Am. She would like to say hi. She lives in the sand. She's a little bit shy. Clam I Am has two shells. They have rings you see here. Rings show how much she has grown every year. See this hole in the sand? Well, thing one and I know, it means there's a clam in the sand down below. A clam has one foot that helps it move about. Clams pull salt water in and spit salt water out. Hello, horseshoe crab. How did he get his name? His shell and a horseshoe are both shaped the same. His shell shields his body from any attack. His eyes are in front. His tail is in back. He has four eyes, but can't see very well. To find food, he is helped by his keen sense of smell. They are not really crabs. Every crab has antennae. Look closely, you'll see. Horseshoe crabs don't have any. Hermit crabs don't have shells, so they look till they find empty shells on the sand that have been left behind. Then they drag these new shells everywhere they go. When the shells get too tight, they need more room to grow. So each crab starts to hunt for a new shell to use. There are lots to be found. It is easy to choose. My next guest is a sea star. He told me today that each of his five legs is known as a ray. If a sea star gets hurt and it loses a ray, a new ray begins to grow back right away. Sea stars are quite slow when they move around. Tiny cups on their feet hold them onto the ground. These creatures are mollusks. Most have a hard shell. Shells protect their soft bodies and do it quite well. Seaweed doesn't have roots. It grabs rocks then holds tight. Some seaweed grows up where it gets the sun's light. Some seaweed you'll find grows a lot deeper down. Seaweed can be green, purple, red, pink, or brown. When you pick seaweed up, you'll find creatures like these. They are sand hoppers, which are also known as sand fleas. Seagulls fly near the ocean. Their cries fill the air. If you're eating your lunch, they're hoping you'll share. We learned this about seagulls. Would you ever think it? Seawater is salty, but seagulls can drink it. They're not fussy eaters. They'll think it's a treat. If they find some dead fish or some garbage to eat. 
Sandpipers run with the waves at low tide. They search with their bills to find worms where they hide. Spend time on the beach, and you'll see right away. The ocean has high and low tides every day. Tides are caused by the sun and the moon, and I know their forces pull the oceans and make the tides flow. At low tide, the water pools back from the shore. At high tide, it is back where it started before. A tide table like this makes it easy to see. When today's two low tides and two high tides will be. If you walk on the beach at low tide, you will find all kinds of creatures the tide left behind. See these clear blobs of jelly? Thing too, and I fear them. Some jellyfish sting, so we do not go near them. Some shells travel miles and miles without breaking. Find a shell in one place, and you know it's worth taking. Find a big shell like this. Put it up to your ear. You might be surprised by the sounds that you hear. This tidal pool you will find is a home to creatures who stay here and who never roam. These shells are called barnacles. Watch them right here. When a wave washes over them, threads will appear. These threads are called the barnacles' feathery feet. They grab food floating by for this creature to eat. Not far from the shore, sand is blown into dunes. Dunes are home to crabs and birds, rabbits, mice, and raccoons. When we go to the beach, we make sure that we take. Some old sneakers, a pail, a small net, and a rake. We wear our old sneakers without any socks, so our feet won't get cut by sh glass, shells, or rocks. A net lets us scoop things out of the sea. A rake helps us dig in the sand easily. We put what we find in our pail, and then when it is time to go home, set them free once again. The next part of my show, I call "Go Ask the Fish." I will answer three questions. Pick one if you wish. Why is the ocean blue? Ocean water is clear. It just looks blue. Here's why: like a mirror, it shines back the blue from the sky. If you look at the ocean on a dark, cloudy day, it shines back the clouds, so the water looks gray. Why is seawater salty? Raindrops fall from the sky and fill rivers which flow. Washing salt off rocks wherever they go, rivers flow to the ocean, and as the years pass, some water heats up and is turned into gas. The salt in the water is left, and that's why oceans get saltier as time passes by. What makes waves? Wind blows over water, and small waves then grow. They get bigger and bigger the stronger winds blow. They keep going and growing, and head towards the land. Then the wave hits the beach, and they crash on the sand. When the strong winds die down, then the waves die down too. 
until next time when the wind blows on through. Next, it's shop with the fish. We have gifts from the sea. You can order today and the gifts are all free. We have pieces of sea glass. The sun makes them glow. They are pieces of bottles that broke long ago. They were tossed by the waves. Over time, they were ground by the salt and the sand till the edges were round. I've got lots of sea glass and most of it's green. This piece is the prettiest I've ever seen. We have beautiful driftwood and here's the best part. It's ready-made sculpture, real pieces of art. Tossed by the wind and the waves every day, it was bleached by the sun till it turned a light gray. To make this wind chime, I took lots of shells and hung them together. They jingle like bells. To make the sand painting, First take colored sand, then for the pattern, let it fall from your hands. Oh dear, our show's over. We must hit the road. Please join us next time for a new episode. Come back to the beach. You will smell the salt air. Hear the cry of the gull. Feel the wind in your hair. You will find a seashell to hold in your hand. Build a high castle. Dig your toes in the sand. Everywhere that you look, you'll find creatures galore. When you look even closer, you'll find even more. The end. That was wonderful. What was something that you learned today? I learned that the ocean is blue because it reflects the color of the sky. Thank you so much for reading and please come back for another reading with me. Bye!